All right, everybody, this is Mr. Warwick. I'm gonna be going through some stuff with you here today on these notes. Um, it's a similar kind of thing to what we were doing. Um, we're choosing which trig ratio we need to use. So Sokotoa is written up here, it's helpful. I usually write it like this. Sokotoa. So that I remember sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, Tangent is opposite over adjacent. And again, we need to ask ourselves, uh, what do we have? What are we looking for? And what is our ratio going to be? Okay. So um, on this one today, it should be, we're just looking all for angles. So we've got this angle. Again, we come out from the angle. We identify this is our opposite side. We come up from our 90, this is our hypotenuse. So since we have the opposite and hypotenuse, that means our ratio is going to be sine. We're looking for that angle. So this is the sine of that angle of X is equal to the opposite side of 68 over the hypotenuse of 80. And what you're gonna type in the calculator is going to be that inverse sine, uh, that arc sine of 68 over 80. Okay, and again, we want to round that. Um, if we're looking at it in Desmos, let me click up to Desmos here real quick. Again, um, finding it in the Desmos keyboard is probably the easiest way to do that. That inverse sine of 68 over 80. And this says 1.01, which I'm guessing is not going to be correct. So I need to check my settings and make sure I'm in degrees. That'll be pretty helpful. That changes it to 58.21. So this is a 58.2 uh, degree angle. Okay. If we look at the back side of this same set of notes, similar kind of thing. Um, I'm just going to kind of set these up real fast. So we're looking at this as the opposite. Here's the hypotenuse. We don't have the hypotenuse. We have the adjacent. If we've got opposite and adjacent, then looking at my options here, opposite is either sine or tangent. Adjacent is either cosine or tangent. So since we have opposite and adjacent both, I need it to be tangent. So the tangent of this X, uh, one that we're missing is equal to the opposite of 84 over the adjacent to 70 and I would do the inverse tangent of 84 over 70. Okay, just the setup there. Again, on this one, I don't have my opposite. I only have my hypotenuse and my adjacent. That means this is gonna be cosine. So the cosine of this one is gonna be equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, 6.5 over 9.1. So I'm going to do my inverse cosine of 6.5 over 9.1 to get that angle. Okay, then the last one here, I've got my opposite side. Uh, this is my hypotenuse. So this is gonna be sine, okay? I don't have that adjacent side. There's nothing there for me to work with. So the sine of my angle that I don't know is going to be equal to my opposite side of 4.3 over my hypotenuse of 9.8. So this means I'm going to use the inverse sine of 4.3 over 9.8. Okay. Hopefully this gets you uh, what you need. Don't forget, we should have a work day tomorrow. Make sure we're finishing up Delta Math, staying on top of those assignments.